came here last week on Tuesday, so we are on Monday now, so it's my sixth day. I'm tired. I'm every day around 3 or 4 or 5 p.m. I'm getting tired a little bit, and I, then I wake up around 10 and 11 p.m. Uh, I lay down around 2 or 3 a.m. So yeah, I'm working on the internet, sending emails, messages to everybody. Uh, I used to be a presenter of uh, TV. Uh, this was my last day, actually, legally. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't sign the paper, so I don't want to sign the paper. Uh, I won't sign the paper, so uh, maybe those guys inside wants to, to push uh, the side. The, the things after Christmas, so to push our, to push us to go home and not to be here is good for them. But I'm not sure that we are going to leave this place until the three other men is fired from the building and from the public service media. So this is the 10th day of the hunger strike in front of the Hungarian public media central building where the Hungarian public media the journalists and now with some civic supporters we are continuing on hunger strike demanding justice to be done and those who are responsible for distorting and falsifying information in the public media they should be fired yesterday we got some medical checkups because uh, while many of us have been on hunger strike for many long days i'm the one who started from the very first day uh, with my colleague Sabu Yaranka. she got back but she had one day rest so it's needed now to check our health we went yesterday to the hospital they checked our blood pressure with the electrocardiographic examination and also with ultrasound they check the heart so far it seems that we are okay in comparison how how those things are so we still feel that okay we're getting a bit weaker and weaker but we are still fine we try to put some uh, more minerals and vitamins in the liquids so not to have very serious health problems later we got still the public support, you see the civic society members, ordinary people, sometimes journalists, sometimes some people from the society, they come bring us food, instead of food I'm just joking, bring up some drinks, hot tea, and we have also now a camper, so our civic supporters who are on hunger strike, they can go and have a rest there and sleep there. But it's important in order to continue we should also like to save our energy because still it seems to me that there still are some days ahead until we can be say can be saying that the demands are fulfilled and we can go home and then the next day we can start negotiations about the more profound structural changes which is needed in order to get the whole things in order the camper which we got from our supporters it's a DDR, it's a East German camper. And you could say it's not so bad. We try to open it. And we have an aggregator so we can produce energy. I don't know, I think it will be a bit noisy. But well, you could look at it. It's a comfortable place for three persons. We have a gas stove so they can have some hot tea in the morning or in the afternoon. Afternoon tea, of course, without any scones or cake. So just have a look. It's our Caravan. Our civic supporters will stay here because we have the right to enter the building and the company is so worried about us so they provided one room with heating but they don't have it so they will stay here and we are expecting more caravans for more supporters if we will expand our protest. At the moment the hunger strikers uh, that is Aranka and me I'm just saying this because we are on hunger strike from the most period I started from the very first day almost one week ago, more than one week ago, on a Saturday, 2 p.m. And Aranka joined me and she had a day off because she had a small kid. She had to go back and she did what a mother had to do. She 
then insisted to go back, so she's with us again. <coughs> there is another journalist with us, a celebrity of the Duna television and one commercial television, uh, Sorel, Artur Sorel Kembe. He's half Congolese, half uh, Hungarian, he speaks fluent Hungarian, he was born here in the very heart of Budapest. And he's well known in because of his, uh, his playing part in a commercial soap opera. And he was just fired just recently. Actually, he got his he should have given should have been given the, the notification about firing just today. But he said uh, he, he doesn't want to see that paper. But so from today, he is officially fired. But he has still some months. I think so maybe one month. Officially, he can be on redundancy. And uh, these are three of us, and, of, and there are also three supporters from the civic society. Uh, one is Ambruso, a young activist by profession. He, he graduated from a school of art. He's a painter. There is another activist from a civic organization, and there is also another one from Solidarity. And there is another one who joined for two days from Solidarity. So actually, we are now seven, but probably tomorrow one of them will be leaving and that will be replaced there with others. The idea actually, we said, we, we won't do this without uh, having any reactions, any contacts from the employer side. If they do not listen to our voice, we will expand our demonstrations. Yeah, yeah. Embassies and governments, okay. the Hungarian yeah, well, journalists are hunger are strike. It's their last days, please help. And uh, with a copy to the foreign ministry. Okay. Okay, and we are. I'm sending it in Spanish and English. Hello, hello. Sziasztok, jó munkát! Jó